from Cerro Castillo, Patagonia. This is the Starship Vlog. I'm Buckfield. Whether through policy development, leadership, or administration to direct complex organizations, we need some level of precision and accuracy regarding the available tools and what they offer. Project management is one of those policy and leadership and administration tools. The uncertainty of long-range Starship research and development calls for good, reliable planning that expertise with these tools can provide, which will also help overcome resistance, skepticism, and apathy that any strange proposals encounter. Guidelines and standards help us determine the proper course and alert us to areas of uncertainty. Although we may not like it, the opposition of strongly rational critics also helps us improve and sharpen our thinking in ways that supportive colleagues cannot. I recently went looking for such critics in an online skeptics forum and faced some unexpected challenges. One of these was gaining agreement on the definition of project management itself. And when details were provided to skeptics of industry standard practices, these were dismissed as baffle gap, deliberately meaningless gibberish designed to disguise either my ignorance or outright dishonesty. We can't really fault that knee-jerk reaction when a crazy sounding idea is supported by what seems like unintelligible jargon. To overcome that snap judgment and reliably assess project management or any tool, we need to dig deeper and answer the question, what is project management? Understanding what project management is starts by going into the lexicon. Project management is the application of knowledge, skills, and techniques to execute projects effectively and efficiently. The strategic competency enables us to tie project results to organizational goals. Through application and integration, the value of project management is proven by its rapid worldwide acceptance by organizational leaders. The key takeaway is successful projects are delivered using project management. The standard PMI lexicon definition has five process groups seen here. These groups include initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing. Standard project management usually involves identifying requirements, dealing with stakeholder issues, managing communications to keep things moving forward, and meeting those identified requirements, and balancing different constraints. The effort to develop viable physics, enabling interstellar flight, involves each of these activities. While warp drives, wormholes, and hyperspace are staples for our most fantastic science fiction, the constraints we need to balance in developing revolutionary physics are pretty much the same as the most mundane other projects, such as putting in a new deck. The constraints all projects face include scope, that's what it is the project does, quality, how well we do it, schedule is when it gets done and how long each step takes, budget is where you show me the money, it's what we're going to spend. There's also risks and resources, circumstances of our project influence how we balance these factors. Let's assume that the project goal is the warp drive from Star Trek. In project management, this is called our primary deliverable. How we balance competing constraints is drastically altered by our circumstances like our motivation with this project. Let's say the U.S. wants to develop warp technology before the Chinese. The balance will be different than if our goal is to colonize an Earth-like exoplanet. A third option could be a scenario I first heard about from Emerson Edwards at the 100-year Starship Public Symposium in Houston. He told me of a risk assessment he's working on relating to the moon. Since the moon is moving away from the Earth at about 4 centimeters per year, his focus seemed crazy, especially compared to asteroid strikes. Then he asked a question that changed everything. What if an asteroid hit the moon or just made a close pass that decreased orbital velocity? That seemed not only plausible, but it completely changed the equation relative to something I had thought pretty silly 10 seconds earlier. And I told him I felt bad about that judgment. That scenario would drastically change how we balance competing constraints. In the case of a global disaster, money would be no object. Preventing or escaping catastrophe would be a planet-wide priority. And we would easily tolerate huge costs and risks to save something of our species in the face of extinction. Project management knowledge provides the relative resource commitments of the future, costs to make changes at different points in that future, and how our uncertainty and risk decrease as the project nears completion. This enables us to see into the future regarding what a particular scenario entails. Each of these plots seen here relate concepts in project management that if you weren't exposed to, you'd think were impossible. Planning 
is a systematic prediction of how we intend to succeed. And as they say, predicting is hard, especially about the future. That's why the skeptics' response that my proposals were crazy was rational within their cognitive framework. The goals for developing faster than light physics were impossible, or they seemed so. The recommendations seemed unintelligible, and the steps to get there seemed to rely on magical abilities, which we actually discussed in episode 007, explaining research planning magic. We will look at when to apply particular management approaches and how they impact each other in a later episode. When we examine section 1.4 of the PMBOK, relationships among managing portfolios, programs, projects, and organizations. If you enjoy this vlog, please click like and subscribe. Our Starship pop culture this time is a beautiful shot from the 1997 film Event Horizon, where we see the world's first faster-than-light ship above Neptune. Thanks for watching.